G'day everyone, welcome back to an S2HD. I have another special treat for you right now. So the previous game, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It was very cool. And uh, why is there no game on your screen, we ask? Well, obviously, because I'm casting Team Australia versus Nexel. Of course, that means Nexel are screwed. Uh, Team Australia have very kindly chosen to have a ping of about 300 for this match, just to, to give Nexel a chance. Obviously, Nexel, you know, not all that, not all that. We haven't really seen Nexel play, you know. We haven't seen them win a lot of matches in the past, you know. Team Australia is definitely the more experienced team here. And, uh, of course, with their uh, with their ping that they've set up, they're, they're being really good sportsmen. So we're going to see how they do here against Nexel. We've got a very fast base rush on uh, the Australians right now. Remedy doing a good job to take down Versal, but uh, the fast arms lab, interesting. Okay, I... I, uh, I would love to have seen that strategy play out just to see what would happen. Unfortunately, there's a lot of fire coming down on this, uh, a lot of chops coming down on this oh, infantry nice portal. And back. we've got two Marines running back now, MF and Pew Pew, and I think they're going to be a handle this. They may have to buy a new infantry portal though, which will be so frustrating for them. Uh, now, it might have been if I can end my act here, obviously Team Australia is going to have a lot of trouble shooting down these aliens. And it looks like Nexel is going for the fast win here, they've dropped a shift. And that means they're going to try and just keep base rushing uh, Team Australia. So they're going to try and exploit the ping... Diff well, not exploit the ping differential, but play to the strength here, which is in the 1v1 the combat, the damage. Australians will have trouble hitting the, the aliens. And, oh boy, this is going to be intense because the eggs are just going to keep spawning. Shaker has set up defences for the shift. It will be very hard to kill it. And the Australians aren't going to be able to work out for quite a while why the aliens just keep coming so fast. So... They are going for what they should be doing, which is a nice fast split to grab their close extractors in Computer Lab and over in uh, in Crevice as well. But unfortunately for them, the, the pressure from the enemy team is just going to be massive because of this uh, central shift location in the middle of the map. <coughs> in Crossroads, excuse me. So what are the Australians going to be able to do about this? I'm not sure. It is going to be very tricky. Uh... Uh, I mean, a play like this, it's going to it's gonna be tricky for the Australians to work out what's going on in the first instance, let alone actually fight back against it. Uh, that said, I mean, a Marine team on three extractors is, is definitely something to be reckoned with. You, as an alien team, you can't just let them have that many extractors and, and expect to walk all over them, even if you do have fast pressure. Unfortunately, right now, I think Nexel is going to prosecute with, uh, with, with deadly skill here. They've got three skulks inside the marine base. There is no beacon. Now, this is crucial because there are two marines over here in ventilation. So it's just these three. If just these three marines, two marines now, cannot kill these skulks, or this one skulk, then it's game over for the marines and they don't have an infantry portal anymore. Now this shift is going to be spawning aliens in at a ridiculous pace. Scatter is down, Versal is still alive. There are reinforcing skulks coming in. The other marines are still on the other side of the map. I think this might be game for the Australians, and I hate to say it at the three minute mark, but I really do think they are screwed here. They're about to get boned because there are three skulks in here. And, oh, there is a beacon. My apologies. I am so sorry. I did not realize there was a beacon. Now this beacon will not beacon dead players back into the world. So can Team Australia rebuild this infantry portal? And they'll have to do more than just rebuild the infantry portal. They'll have to kill these skulks as well. It is now just MF and the commander. It's now just the commander. No one else. And, uh, oh dear. And you can see the commander's just desperately beacon there, but the beacon does not bring dead players back. So Team Australia was just punished there. And uh, that fast shift play was just outstanding. And Nexel really did everything right there. So, I mean, I hate to do it, but it looks like uh, this was an American win in this series of games. So it is just two games. But uh, we know who I'll be rooting for in future. And this will not be the last time we see Team Australia. I'm sure they'll be playing in lots of future tournaments. And of course, we're going to try and sort out a better server arrangement for these guys in future. <laughs> and... <laughs> You guys, I am putting that up on... Oh no, there we go. I tried to talk to them, but then the server went for a change there. And they were saying, hey, feel free don't to, uh, to not cast this, but I'm going to put this up. And I am proud of how those guys played, because they went up against one of the best American teams out there. Nexel can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone, including Arkea and Inversion. Uh, so, well done to the end of Exodus. So, well done to Team Australia for trying to do that and uh, for being such good sportsmen and playing on... Uh, notice they didn't even request to play on an Australian server for one of those rounds. So, I'm proud of those boys. 
And uh, maybe we can get a conversation with you here. Team Australia, I am putting this up and I am proud of the way you played. And Nexel, obviously you guys were just outstanding. But uh, yeah, you guys, Team Australia, you played well and I'm sure you'll be around for many more games in the future.